What's up, family? This is your local OG motherfucking juggalo here, motherfucker, for another motherfucking installment of whatever. But, uh, so, I had checked out the whole CPN versus Chuck Reeves part two because why not, right? I seen the first one, and like I, I said in that one, it was just a glorified ass kissing contest. And this one wasn't too much different wasn't too much different and but either way so they start off by uh, exchanging pleasantries how was Easter well, Easter was fucking marvelous <laughs> I mean if you saw me lately I'm a big fat fucker you don't think I like Easter motherfucker <laughs> and then he's like oh don't worry the shit's gonna start flinging, y'all. <laughs> it never really did. Uh, it, it, it was like a circle jerk with the occasional minor disagreement. That's pretty much how their whole uh, debate went along. Uh, just being honest, that's that's pretty much what happened. They, they, it was a circle jerk. With the occasional disagreement. And the way the disagreement usually went was uh, one of them would run their mouth and they think they won. Which a lot of times the one that was running their cocksucker uh, didn't really prove any points. Not not all the time, but most of the time, you know, Chuck or fucking CPN. It seemed like when they started running their mouth, they, they just went off track to try to... Uh, uh, you know, get away from the question that was at hand. Whatever. But, uh, yeah, it was just funny. Like, it really was just the whole mentality of it, you know. But whatever. It is what it is, I guess. But there's one part in there that CPN kind of backed down off of, and it just... I just don't know what to say about it, you know, because it was an easy thing to rectify. But he was sitting here trying to, uh, how do I say, he's trying to say this, that, or another, blah, 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 <clears throat> to make a point when the point was simple. The, the thing was, they was talking about how Violent J had said uh, he didn't have no creation in in uh, what you would call it, Tech Nine, right? And what he meant by that was Tech Nine's name, Tech Nine's face paint, etc. But that does not mean Mr. Reeves, Mr. Chuck fucking Reeves. That does not mean that Tech Nine himself, as an individual, See, now what is it? Because it seems like if Violent J said he didn't do it, then apparently Tech 9 never did it, in, did it himself as an individual, right? Because what I'm trying to say is, is even though Violent J said, which majority majority of the fucking jugglers should know this, right? You would think at least, but <laughs> whatever. But what Violent J was saying was he didn't create his name. Tech Nine came up with his own name. He didn't create his face paint. Tech Nine came up with his own image face paint. Unlike Twisted and Boondocks and possibly Blaze Your Dead Homie. But then again, who knows? Blaze is a little bit more intelligent, so he might have actually did all that on his own. But uh but that does not mean Tech as an individual didn't pick up certain things from the juggalo culture. Especially when that was the only fan base he had for the longest there. Like, yeah, he had his little cult following in fucking Kansas, but that wasn't enough. Because if it was enough for Tech 9, he would have just stayed in Kansas and he wouldn't have cared to roll on. But see, what Tech 9's trying to do 
is Tech Nine's just trying to fucking become become the rap industry for the most part, you know. He's trying to become that standard, you know. Like, you know, back in the fucking uh back in the day with Death Row, you know, Death Row was the fucking pretty much the standard of rap. You know, or whatever, because of who come from it. I mean, hell you have fucking what, Dr. Dre, motherfucking uh Snoop Dogg and uh Tupac, of course. You know, they, they was a standard for a while there of what a rap, uh, successful rap label was looked like. And Bone Thugs or whatever from Ruthless Records, they did all right, you know, but it is what it is. But, you know, it was just... So he modeled himself after certain things. Tech himself, not Violent J. Now, just because Violent J says... That he personally, as in like I, me, myself, and I, I personally didn't have nothing to do with Tech Nine's artistic style. Doesn't mean that Tech Nine didn't grab from the Insane Clown Posse. I mean, come on now. If you're just saying whoop whoop or whatever in one of your songs, then you grab from the fucking Insane Clown Posse. You grab from their culture that they made up. You know, there's no other way around it. If you say Juggalo, then you took inspiration from the Insane Clown Posse somewhere. It's inside your head. You know, you're thinking about it. You know, and then he made, he has that one song where he's talking about fucking being a clown or whatever it was. I forget exactly, because I'm not a big, you know, Tech 9 fan. But they was talking about it on there. About how he, he was like a serial killer clown. I don't know, something like that. About the carnival, da 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 Come on now. Who really talks about the carnival and shit? I meant really who? But, uh, yeah, it, it was interesting, the uh, debate. Well, not interesting. It was it was kind of funny to be honest, just because you know how I watched both of them backpedal as much as they did. I think it's just like what uh, Child's Play Ninja was saying. He's how he manufactured beef when he first come on a uh, YouTube to uh, try to gain notability, you know, and that's what helped blow him up, I guess. And one of his targets. Because he wanted to be more popular. See, here we go. And he even admitted it. I just talked about this the other day. How everybody's trying to get this Facebook and uh, YouTube fame. But how he wanted to be more popular than uh, Boy Blue. You know? But yeah, whatever. It is what it is. And then Chuck's talking about, oh, well, my numbers are getting high. I'm up at 300, da 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 da, da or whatever. You know, like I said, man, y'all motherfuckers feed that ego, too. That's what's funny about everything. You feed it. You know, you create these fucking, these monsters or whatever. Just like with the fucking one chick, the, uh, shit, I made a, well, I didn't make a video about that, but when, uh, CPN was fucking talking about he wish he could hit that, uh, the, the one girl from fucking, she's on one of those talk shows. And she got real famous for being fucking retarded. Like, come on now, man. Is this what America's come to? You can get famous for being fucking retarded. Like, honestly, look at the Chewbacca woman. She got famous for acting a fool. You know, maybe I sh If anybody wants to get famous, just make a video where you're acting like a fucking fool. You'll start getting a bunch of followers, I guarantee you. Just blast that shit on Facebook. You know, just do some stupid shit. You'll be famous before you know it. But it is what it is. Like I said, it's just funny. But uh, either way, I ran into a story on Facebook. It was on Police the Cops or whatever, Cop Block or Cop Watch or whatever, which one it was. Uh, And there was a story dude was talking about. He was in his house and da-da-da-da. And the cops woke him up with guns in his face, blah-blah-blah-blah. And... uh. When they found out that he was the owner of the house and they couldn't arrest him for robbery because they thought the house was getting broke into, they charged him for uh, cannabis possession because he had some some leftover grinded up on his table or whatever. You know, probably 
packed a bowl or rolled a joint and had some dusting left over. And uh, so they charged him with that. And the dude turns around and talk about, I treat them with respect and they treated me with respect. And I'm like, wait up. They walked into your house, put guns in your face, tried to throw you in jail in a cage, found out that she wasn't a robber, that you actually own this house. And instead of risking a chance of getting in trouble because they shoved guns in your face, they found a reason to throw you in jail. That, that was treating you with respect. The submissiveness of America astounds me. It really does anymore. Like, the motherfucker put a gun in your face, say, come with me, and this and that. And I understand, you know, most people are going to come because the whole self-preservation kicks in. You know, fire, flight, you know, type deal. The whole wanting to live, you know, self-preservation kicks in and you'll go with it. Majority of them will. But, man, it's just like, to, 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 to tell the story and say they treated you with respect... They fucking put guns in your face, dude. They fucking dragged you out of your bed. They put you in handcuffs. And then when they found out they had no reason to even be there and detain you, they fucking found a reason and charged you with something. And now you owe them money. That's respect. Okay. But either way, you know, stop being fucking slaves to the system. And, you know, stop trying to fucking gain fucking fame on fucking YouTube. And stop feeding these motherfuckers. You know, like I say, don't feed the trolls. Much kind of love, motherfuckers. Whoop, whoop.